The Jannah which Allah created already. The Jannah that no one can imagine. What Allah has prepared for us in the Jannah, no one can imagine. Simply because the human imagination springs from his observations. You cannot imagine something you did not see, true or not? Can you imagine something you did not see? No way. I want you now to imagine the palaces in the Jannah. Close your eyes and imagine. What are the pictures coming? What palaces are coming to your mind? The palaces you have seen, right? Can you imagine the rivers in the Jannah? The rivers you have seen will come to your memory. That means we cannot imagine something we did not see. And the Jannah no one has seen, so we cannot imagine it. So when you are reading the Quran and you read about milk, honey, wine, only the name is common, but the reality is totally different. So what is there is different. That's why in the Hadith, Allah says, I have prepared for my servants what no eye has ever seen, no ear has ever heard of. So what is in the Jannah? It is something beyond our comprehension. The palaces in the Jannah are made of one brick gold, another brick is silver. Can you imagine? The palaces in the Jannah, one brick is gold, another brick is silver. That's how the palaces are made in the Jannah. And this palace, you can build it by reading Qul Hu Allahu Ahad ten times. If you read Qul Hu Allahu Ahad ten times, as in the authentic hadith, a palace will be built for you in the Jannah. The trees in the Jannah. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu says in the authentic hadith that the fastest horse will be running in the shade of the tree 100 years. 100 years and this fasted source is running in the shade of this tree. And the trunk of the tree is made of gold. The palaces in the Jannah, the rivers, they flow from underneath. While you are in your dead room and rivers of wine, honey, milk, everything within reach. Fruits within reach. You want that grape, the cluster will come down to you. You eat, then the cluster will go up again. And the most important thing in the Jannah, what is the most important thing? The most pleasurable thing, enjoyable thing in the Jannah. What is it? Seeing Allah. Seeing Allah Azza wa Jal. There is a day in the Jannah where all the people of Jannah all the inhabitants of Jannah, they get together in a place, Suq al-Jannah, the market of Jannah, and Allah appears to all of them. And they look at Allah, and He speaks to every individual. Faces will be bright, illuminated because of the Iman. Looking at Allah Azza wa Jal, that's the most enjoyable thing. We will meet there, inshaAllah, by His grace. Amen. So that's the most important thing, to see your Lord in the Jannah. And you see your brothers there. And then, after that gathering, Allah says, now you can go to the market, take whatever you want, and go to your homes, to your palaces, to your wives. And the moment their wives received them, they would say, Masha Allah, Masha Allah, you are more handsome than when you left. Now you are more handsome than when you left us in, in the morning. 
whatever. And the men will say, by Allah, you are more beautiful than when we left. So what increased their beauty? Seeing Allah. Looking at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that is our real home.